welcome to my 2022 British Columbia Elkhart. Enjoy. Today I'm out with my buddy Jer, and behind the camera is Michelle. So yeah, let's get to it. We decided to work our way up a large drainage that I knew had held some decent elk in the past. And calling as we went, hoping to find that fired up bull that wanted to give us a bugle back and let us know where he was. We were getting some pretty faint, whiny little bugles back down from the valley below us. They sounded pretty non-committal and we knew it was in some pretty thick territory, so we decided to keep working our way up the valley, hoping to find a more ambitious bull. It was pretty hot out today and the bulls did not seem to be too impressed by my raking and whiny bugles. In the heat of the day, Jared tried some more aggressive calling and we moved this upslope of a wall that looked like it had some recent activity. While we were considering stopping for a quick lunch break, we heard some cracking in the trees upslope from our position. It was a telltale sign of what could only be a large animal moving in our direction. At this point, I'm standing out in the wide open. Michelle is crouched to my left behind the bush that you see in front of the camera, and Jer is directly behind me as a cow elk comes about 10 yards into the opening, stops, and stares directly at me. At this point, I'd pretty much just been staring at the cow. I knew by the rustling that there was a second animal close by, but I hadn't had a good look at it yet to know what it was. Hearing the little squeals and starting to see some antler tips through the trees, I knew I was staring at a bull, but in this area you need six points or better, so through the thick bush it was rather hard to confirm how many points this particular animal had. At this point I've been standing here with my rifle shouldered for almost ten minutes with the cow staring directly at me. The bull can't quite see me, but I'm getting rather tired and starting to shake. This bull finally starts giving me a good look at his rack and I'm confident this guy has six points on at least one side. I'm looking at a legal bull. After what feels like the longest stare down in my life, the cow seems to finally give me the okay and wanders off feeling unthreatened. Shortly after looking for the blood trail, we ended up bumping an animal downhill from us. It went a short way and stopped. We assumed it was probably the bull and that it was injured. So we gave him some more time, sat and waited. While we were waiting, we could hear thrashing in the bushes below us. And eventually, a large, raspy last breath of what I was pretty confident was my bull laying on the ground. Dead. Oh, 
some grass. <laughs> There's lots of grizzly bears and other predators in the area, so we hang what we can't carry out tonight in a tree, hoping that nothing finds it before we get back for tomorrow. Having a bad experience with a grizzly taking part of our kill in the past, we load up with as much as we can possibly carry. I have a hindquarter in the head. Each of the other two are loaded up with what they can, and we head out, leaving only behind a front quarter and a bag of loose meat. We make it back to the truck shortly after dark and head home for some well-served rest. The next morning I headed back in with Jer. We retrieved the last few pieces of meat we had hanging in the tree. Headed back to the road with packs that felt like a feather compared to what we carried out the night before. Luckily it was cool enough I was able to hang the meat in my shed for a couple days as I got to it. Michelle and I went through and butchered and packed the whole thing. I also went and cleaned the skull and prepared it for a European style skull mount. I was also able to recover the brass, the bullet, and the two elk ivories from the elk. The ivories are remnants of prehistoric tusks they used to have. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks Jerry and Michelle for helping me out. Such a big day. Thanks Drago for basically getting me there and thanks you guys for following along. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye-bye.